So, we are again playing and I didn't start recording and uh, I feel horrible now. Anyway, we didn't go far from the place where we were before. We literally we literally came from there. That is that is really not far. And I'm in this area, so I'm going to take this boat now. And yeah. Okay, no. All right. So, we're really we're, we're, I didn't I didn't do a lot of progress, right? There's literally a few a few uh mirrors away from where we ended yesterday. Yep, feels good to be back, man. Awesome. I can hear a train. And my flashlight is out. My flashlight is out. And that is an open... Open vent, I, I think. I guess. Do I do I use a med kit? I can see a lot of blood. Is that a train? Are we dead? Are we imaginating stuff? Did we crash? But is this the green stuff? Is the no? It's the red thing. What? What? Is, I, I kind of missed out on what the uh, red thing does. Maybe it's a green. Maybe it's a green stuff. I don't know. I'm so confused. Yeah, our boat is literally totaled. Where did- how- where- whoa, 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 whoa. How did we end up here? How in the- Okay, well that's great, we're in the middle of nowhere again. Uh, <laughs> good job, Tom. Good, good, good job, and your fucking superior powers that leads you literally into nowhere! Like what the hell, man? Where, where, where the hell are we? Oh god! That is not creepy. That that is that is that is so not creepy. No, no, not at all. Not at all. Nope, that is absolutely not creepy. Hello, moving box and a moving backpack. 
How are you doing today? Oh god, please don't tell me. Oh no. I heard a sound that resembled an ape. And that ape... Is 20 feet foot tall! I did not like that sound at all. I'm gonna save just... <laughs> just in case, you, you, you know? It doesn't feel good. I don't I don't like this place at all. Like at all at all. I really do not like this place. Nope. Not a fan of it. Not a fan of it a single bit. Dude, I swear to god, if someone is gonna... If someone is going to pop out in front of my screen, I'm gonna be so mad. If I could hurry up, I would, but I can't because I'm in the middle of nowhere. Oh god, oh god. Oh lord. And I'm imagining, I'm literally imagining stuff. There are goddamn backpacks moving around, dude. I need help. Send help, man. I literally don't know where I am. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. I really do not like this, what's happening right now, this is freaking creeping me out, dude! Why is my filters are- Whoa, yo, 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 my filters are running out fast, dude, I need to hurry up, I need to hurry up. Do you see how fast it's going? Oh, that's a Bigfoot! Look at that! Look at that! That is, that is great! That is great! Love it! Love it! That that, that was a Bigfoot! Mm-hmm! What's up, Bigfoot? <laughs> I... Yeah... Yeah... yeah don't, don't hurt me, because I... I come in peace. Alright? Is, is, is that cool? Is that cool? Is that is that right? I'm, I'm coming in peace. Don't even... Don't... If you're gonna jump, fucking scare me, I'm gonna be so tilted. Leaving the metro behind and once must week through the surface, the institute is not far from the metro, but I still have to cross the short span of the open air quickly. The radiation levels are way too high here. They're, they are, they are, they are way too high. They're way, way, way too high. Way too high. Way too high. Way too high! Way too high! Run! We need to run! Run! They're way too high! Way, 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 way too high! Way, way, way too high. 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 Keep running. Keep running. Keep running. Wow, we're fast, boy. That is a tank. And I'm in a tank.
This is not the way we should be going. This is not the way we should be going. Nope, this is really not the way. You know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go another way. Yeah, don't, don't, <laughs> you, 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 you keep going that way. I'm, I, I'm, 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 I'm totally fine going this way. Never mind then. That is a notebook. That's the notebook. Should have gone down the metro right away, even if there were no traffic jams or snow. We could have maybe driven a hundred clicks out of a town, and what difference would I have made? The cloud would still get us. Those kids, though, they were told to get down in the metro, but no, everyone his mom and has to jump into the car and floor it. The dumb biker that went straight under our tread... Where was he, where was he going? Anyway, through all that snow. Under the next truck, apparently, and he not hit us first. And those hassles started crying murder and knocking on the armor with sticks. Vitaly shot a short burst from the coax above the heads and they all just flew, leaving the cars and shit, not like they were going anywhere with all the roads jammed. We tried pushing, but with a road pack for all far as the eye could see, besides with all the ice in the road, the tracks just skid. Try picking up some speed first, but crashed through that underground crossing. <clears throat> we popped the hatches to look around, try getting ourselves out. And then the dust hit us. Vitaly tried the counter, but it was on the scale on all settings. I shot from behind, returned and saw that it was Mikhail. Mikhail. He knew what was coming. In the morning, he said we would be better off shooting ourselves if we get hit with this shit. Well, it was his choice, and Vitaly and I decided we'd have a smoke first. This seems to be turning out okay, in fact, there's nothing to hope for, so we can have that smoke in peace. Had we been buttoned up or worse, gotten down to the metro would probably waste lots of time for no good reason. Why would we ever want to go through the motions? Feeling queasy already, time for that smoke, I guess. Oh man, alright, well, uh, hey, hey, Bigfoot, I'm coming for you. I hope you're ready. I'm not. I'm not. I'm uh, not. I am not. Till I am. I am fucking not ready. This is giving me all sorts of creeps, honestly. And what was the point? Oh, I guess that was the point. Oh. Oh man, this is not looking good. This is really not looking good. What is this? That's a lot of loot! Good thing I came here. I'm not liking this. This is this is so creepy. Like Jesus, and there's a goddamn Bigfoot on the loose. 
Um, uh... Fuck. I wrote down something, but I don't know what exactly. I need to hurry up because of my filters. They're running out way, way too fast. Like, way, 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 way. Oh, God. Look at my filter. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, never mind. It's normal. Before it was running out really fast. Like, sonic speed. Speed. Can't even talk. This is so intense. Wait, I saw something. I saw something that I could pick up. But I can't... Oh, here we go. There's someone here? I can't use my flashlight, dude. Hello to you too! What's up? What's up? Holy moly. Why are there chairs moving and objects? Yeah, cause that makes sense. Does it? That doesn't it? It makes a lot of sense. Oh Jesus Christ! As far as I know, Bigfoots and Metro 2033 weren't weren't really a big issue if you if you didn't if you didn't look at them. Like if you don't look at them, they shouldn't. They shouldn't. They shouldn't attack you. In what? In what, dude? Uh, <laughs> A flying chair, will you just look at that?
What is that light, dude? He doesn't have eyes? How did he see me, dude? Oh. Oh, duh. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. We're gonna fight? Oh, no. Okay, so if you don't... Oh, he's bl he is blind, isn't he? I saw filter somewhere. I saw filter somewhere. Game, game, give me filters. I need filters. Oh. I feel bad. I feel bad here. Oh. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Here we go. Oh lord. Oh lord, doodle do. Place the walking so loudly that scares me. Following him the journey of a thousand miles might end in just one more step. I have to find the laps. If the, if the medicine capable to save Anna is in the building, their place to look in. The place to look in. Hello! How, how, how are you doing? Huh? How, 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 how are you doing today, huh? It's a beautiful day today, right? Fuck me, dude. I'm not even gonna fight him. It's not even worth fighting him.
ho, ho, ho. No, 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 you just took, you, you, you took off your mask? Wait, did I? Oh, we have our mask, okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. You're gonna give me a heart attack or Tom? Oh, no. Hello. Hello, how are you doing today? How are you? I'm, I'm doing fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just gonna... Do I need to go this way or do, we, uh, do I need to go? I'm going this way. Oh, that's not creepy. They're gonna come alive. They're gonna come alive. I know it. Oh god. Oh, hello. Hello. Goodbye. of them now Are you fucking kidding me I can't quick save I'm gonna check something real quick okay Wait, am I writing a diary or something? I am so confused, dude. What was what was that that I just wrote down? Please go away. Can you please go away? Where do I need to go? Oh my god. What do I need to do now? Where 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 do I go now? Huh? Hmm? What what what, what do I do now? Hmm?
and quick save. That is a door. I can't go. F I can't go through it. Dude. Okay. What is that? The ball that is making the all the noise. Maybe you didn't find it, my love. It's alright. Right. I know, I know you, you tried. tried. Sh shut up. I'm, I'm waiting, waiting for you. you. I think this is the same voice from the previous series. <laughs> Some someone something is trying to fool us. Yeah. Some, right yeah. Def someone is trying to fool us. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I know. I think so, at least. And they're trying to kill us that way. I'm sorry. Oh, something is about to happen. some help right now oh 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 that 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 that's pretty much the help I was talking about. Thank thank thanks God or Mother Nature. And <laughs> oh God! Oh, we're dying, aren't we? There's a stick. There's a metal rod in the middle of our chest, isn't isn't there? Please. 
You're alive! Alive! I thought I was all alone again. Is he dead? Get up! Quick! He's asleep. Better leave them be when they get like this. It's just a straight drive from now on. He tried to teach me to drive, but... He just... went out like this. No, don't die, don't black out. Is that it? Is th is this the end of our Tom?
go to the train. everyone. He got irradiated badly. And I couldn't even get a reading on the colonel's body. The counter goes off the scale. <sighs> Hold on, Marty. You fix you just fine. How could this happen? Focus, Katya! What do we do? Tell us! <sighs> An emergency transfusion. We must give him as much blood as we can. Transfusion it is then. Will it save him? It will keep him alive for a little longer. As long as there is blood. What's his blood type? Hey, be positive. We could give him any type. Get everyone here. Don't go to sleep, Artyom. <sighs> you can't go to sleep now. Well, hello there, Artyom. How about we take a walk? <laughs> Staying underground grew old. That's it, Stepan. You can't give more. Look! He's up! Can you hear me, Artyom? Don't you dare die on us. Just don't you dare. You've got a whole life ahead of you. And kids! So fight for it. Fight! Why did you stop? Didn't you always want to go outside? Didn't you open that airlock at the botanical gardens? This place is much better. This isn't your destination, Artyom. You're not there yet, not even close. He it's not your station, he, he, it's just a dead end. Not your goal. Can you hear me? Give me your hand. Oh, you're burning up. Well, I... I hope this old man's blood will do something about that, that hot head of yours, eh? <laughs> Come on, let's go. You know, I finally feel like I belong somewhere. I am no longer an outsider. You keep us together, Artyom. You must survive for all of our sakes. Let's go to the summit. Hear me, Artyom. You've got a wife you need to work on making kids with. And my fiancé is still in Moscow. We still have to stir some shit up back in the metro, so don't you fucking dare die here. Look, Artyom. Lake Baikal. Ah, makes you believe real life is possible. Not the petty rat race we had back in the metro. I just... Just have to say... You were right, Artyom. Right for wanting to get us out. Bring us here. And I... The old fool. I was simply afraid. Afraid of life, as I see now. Look, he's smiling. Smiling in his sleep. He even seems to say something. It's his fever talking. He's burning up. 
This world is worth giving everything up for, Artyom. <laughs> you were always a and I uh, was too attached to my position in the rat race. I'm sorry. Sorry for what happened to Anna. Sorry for blaming you. <sighs> Had I not pumped everyone up about the occupying forces, she'd never have fallen there. Artyom, I beg you, don't die. Stay with me, please. I don't want a life if you're not a part of it. Can you hear me? Look at me, Artyom. Look at me, please. Yes, about Anna. You will have to look out for her. Now that I can't anymore. I don't care if you go to that ocean. Just stay with her. <coughs> <coughs> I'm keeping her out. She can barely stand herself, but she's ready to give all her blood to him. At least the medicine helped. It's a miracle. I have a daughter, but I also wanted a son. A really stubborn one, just like me. Like you. I really like this place. It's so clean. I'd like to stay here. Forever. Could you arrange that for me? <laughs> and the most important thing. My time's up, Artyom. It's your turn now. Step up. Lead them. Just remember that I created the order to save people. All people, Artyom. Don't forget that. Because I somehow did. Goodbye, Commander. Time to wake up. Come on. Rise and shine, son. The fever is subsiding. I think he's getting better. Now he needs some rest. You too, Anna. We've got hope now. We found the place I saw in my dream. That hill on the shores of Baikal where Miller took me. A clean place, just like he said. Everything around is clean. We found ourselves a home. A home at the foot of a hill, overlooking a lake. A home where we could raise our children, who will be born not in the damp and dark tunnels, but under blue sky and bright sun. Ladies and gentlemen, as the ranking officer, I propose a motion to entrust the duty of commanding the order to our job. Unanimously approved. So, what would your orders be, sir? I would say we all go home. But this home seems too large for just us. You know, the Colonel once told me he created the order to save people. All of them. I say it's time we perform this duty. I mean, I like the game. <clears throat> it's kind of sad that the whole story ended really fast, just like that. It's also kind of sad that we didn't experience any...
any moments with the uh, aliens that we uh, had in the uh, Metro previous gameplays. Which I'm gonna upload to YouTube, by the way, don't worry about it. I'm gonna first upload this game, then that one, even though that makes literally no sense, but... The concept of that game was that... I'm not gonna spoil it, but... The alien did say that he's gonna... He's gonna come back one day. And it's kind of it's kind of really sad that we didn't didn't really experience that in this game. I was really hoping for that because honestly, I had the, the game was so much interesting when you had a alien companion by your side. But I guess it's just me. And overall, the game itself, the graphics are amazing. The game is sure buggy. I don't know if it's like. If it's because it's new, maybe they're gonna be, like, it's gonna be fixed, I don't know. But, yeah. Some, some, some shadows are bugging out sometimes, some things are bugging out. It's kind of random. Sometimes they're not. And, like, the storyline in the beginning, it was really, really interesting, intriguing, and... It just, it just made you want to keep playing the game. But it's kind of sad that the game literally ended so fast. Like, so fast. By that I mean, it didn't, show, it, it didn't show you the ending with the gameplay. It just showed you, showed you the end, like, in the movie, let's say. It was, you know, the ending was pretty fast. But, you know, at least the ending is clear, they did found a way to this place without any issues. And since the place is too large for them, I assume they're gonna go back to the metro in Moscow, pick up everyone that is there, and they're gonna try to live in this place. It's really sad that that dude died as well. He was he was wearing a mask while we were in the car. When we woke up, he didn't he wasn't wearing a mask, which was also kind of confusing a little bit. But uh, yeah, the game the game is pretty good. The game pretty nice, pretty nice. I rated 9 pancakes out of 10. Or maybe 10 pancakes out of 10 pancakes. I don't know. It's difficult. Because, like, the game was kind of buggy, you know? And I didn't really like the uh, thing that we didn't meet the alien, which I was really hoping for that we would. And, but since we didn't, that, that was kind of. It was disappointing. It was a little bit disappointing. Uh, the thing about the bandits and the pioneers kind of confused me. I guess I should have completed that without killing anyone. But yeah, like I, if I would have tried that, that would have taken me so much time. And since I kind of like to explore. I knocked as many of them as I could, but also killed a lot of them, only because of the reason that I could explore the area. And I think that kind of impacted the game in some more way, I don't know. I'm gonna, maybe I'm gonna try to play this game over again. Then... I mean, there were only three or two maps, right? We were... We started in Metro. Then we were... We were in a desert. Then we were in the, um... In... In, like, a forest thing. Like, they could have made a little bit 
more maps. They could have made one more map at least with, with more gameplay, I guess, for the end. Where we find at least this place. Or at least tell us, you know, how we got here. What we're planning to do, you know. Even, even they could have showed us that we went back to Moscow, let's say, and we picked all the people, and, for example, let's say, there's also a picture like this one, like a video, where you can see, you know, buildings that people are trying to survive, there are, there are plants, there are kids running around playing, and there's our Tom right there as a leader, I guess, or as a saver, I don't know. But yeah, it kind of showed, like, the end, the, this ending was really, really fast, and... Uns the unsuspectful, is that is that a word? Alright, well, uh, hello, so, um... I wanted to say something, there was actually a dark one in this game, and... <laughs> The only reason why I didn't seem because I was so busy looking at the loot and you know exploring that I didn't I didn't even see him and apparently he was literally on the building. So if you remember this gameplay, like the part right here, um, uh... you can literally see him right there on the building. That that kind of dark shadow. And I'm gonna zoom in. Yeah, it's literally right there. You can see him literally right there. <laughs> and I didn't see him. And then, like, look at this. I'm, I'm so busy looting. And at this point, I was pressing my M button. So I wasn't really looking at the game, you know, that kind of widely. And you can literally see him just walk away. So, all of those hallucinations and, you know, uh, Miller leading us, you know, in Metro and stuff wow. like that, that was actually the Dark One doing all of that stuff. So, when I wanted to clear th this thing out, and uh, it's, uh, it's a very g good game, yes? It's a good game? So, uh... See ya, see you next time. Hmm?